Oh, ooh, that is starting to burn, guys. Ooh. Mark McKillier here with Live Anabolic, and today I want to give you a 15-minute follow-along chest workout that we can do entirely from home. No expensive gym membership needed. All you need are some dumbbells and some bands. So guys, just like every other muscle group, I'm a big believer in hitting the muscles from lots of different angles, which means, of course, we got to do lots of different exercises. So there's no sense in trying to build a big chest with just one exercise. I mean, you could do a hundred sets of dumbbell chest presses and you will build your chest. It will get bigger, but it won't be nearly as effective as if you do far fewer sets, but with lots of different exercises. And it's because, you know, it's really important to hit the muscle fibers from different angles. And basically you're, you're, you're asking the muscles to respond to forces that we put on them from different angles. All right. And of course the mind muscle connection is slightly different depending on the types of movements you're doing. And there's just, there's just no way to hit all the muscles in your chest with just a single exercise. So that's why I like to come up with, with at least three different exercises. Today, we're going to actually have five different exercises that are all going to be done specifically to target our chest. But before we get to that, I just want to quickly remind you guys that we got a fantastic Facebook group. I know some of you guys hate social media. I'm not a big believer in social media either, but guys, this is, this really is different. Yes, it's Facebook. Doesn't matter. Don't use your own name. Don't post any pictures of yourself if you don't want. Just create an account and join our group because it's 16,000 guys all over the world. They're just like you. Everybody's in their 50s, 60s, and 70s. Few guys in their 40s, few guys in their 80s. And man, I'm in there every day, you know, answering questions, but, but everybody else is too. So fantastic questions. It's not just exercise related. We talk about nutrition. We talk about joint health, injuries, rehab. There's just kind of a little everything. Plus there's a lot of motivation coming from the other guys. And there's some funny stuff. Guys are posting some pretty funny memes in there too. So it's a blast. It's free. Even if you don't like Mark Zuckerberg, like I don't, doesn't matter. Join it. Just take advantage of it. So how are we going to do this in 15 minutes? There's lots of different ways. So today I want to do kind of a time based workout. So we're going to do five different exercises. We're going to do three sets of each exercise. So that's going to be 15 sets total. And each set is going to be 30 seconds of working out and 30 seconds of resting before we do the next set. All right. So because you're not getting much rest. All right you're not going to be able to lift really heavy weights. You're basically going to kind of have to pace yourself from, from a weight perspective, okay, or an intensity perspective. But you're going to make up for that because our rest periods are going to be so short. A lot of you guys can just use your, your smartphone and just turn the timer on and just look at it. You know, work out from zero to 30 seconds, stop, rest until it gets to the top of the next minute, then do your next set. I'm just going to kind of wing it because I know doing 10 reps is equivalent to about mm, 20, 25 seconds. So you can do about 12 reps or so. That's about 30 seconds. And then I'm going to talk to the camera rest and I can look at my watch and kind of, you know, give myself roughly a 30 second rest before I do the next set. So basically this is just going to be a follow along. Now, because there's so little rest in between sets, I'm going to get out of breath. So we might actually have to hit time out with the camera so I can catch my breath just so I can talk to you. But the first exercise, guys, are dumbbell presses. Now, you may not have a bench, all right? But if you do, I prefer that you do these with a slight incline, okay? So for you guys that don't have a bench, get down on the ground, put a cushion from your sofa under your back so you can get a good range of motion, and just do flat dumbbell presses. So here we go. One, two, three. Six, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so that was twelve reps. 
and I'm guessing that was pretty close to 30 seconds. So I can just kind of glance at my watch here on my wrist, talk to you guys for a few seconds, and then do my next set. Remember, I gotta do three sets of this before we move on to the second exercise. <sighs> All right, here we go. I'm actually gonna go with less than 30 seconds rest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Woo! Well, my first thought is that was a mistake, not resting the full 30 seconds. So this is a really light weight for me. Normally, this would be no big deal, but I've already worked out once today, <laughs> and so my shoulders are kind of are kind of beat. And then secondly, 30 seconds doesn't give you a lot of time for your heart to pump the blood through your muscles and flush all that lactic acid out, because that's what's going on. I'm not really out of breath per se, but the lactic acid buildup, especially in my shoulders, because that was the actual muscle group I did today. <laughs> so my shoulders are really fatigued. All right, so let's knock out one more set here and then we're gonna rest and then we're gonna move on to the second exercise. One, two, starting to burn guys <laughs> Whew. so remember because we're keeping our rest really short you're not gonna be able to do nearly as much weight as you normally would when you're giving yourself you know a minute to 90 seconds rest all right so second exercise means I'm gonna have to use even less weight let me show you I love these adjustable dumbbells you just you just basically twist the handles and now I have a lighter weight that's how long it took. All right. Exercise number two is going to be dumbbell flies. So let me do a set here and then I'll explain kind of what's going on and why I picked this exercise. So now, one, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, all right. I only did ten there, and I'm doing fewer because I think a fly takes slightly longer than a press for each individual rep. And so I'm guessing, you know, just kind of you know, off the top of my head that that was close to 30 seconds. And I like to, when I'm selecting different exercises for you guys, when we're targeting a specific muscle group, is to really mix things up. So the first exercise was a pressing movement. Now I'm doing a fly, okay? Yes, it's still focusing on our shoulders, or excuse me, I should say, yes, it's still focusing on our chest, <laughs> but it does involve shoulders. You are getting you know, there's a lot of front deltoid work going on here. And of course, that's why this is so tough for me because I already hit shoulders today and they are burned out. All right, set number two. One, two, three. So guys, when you come out here, feel this and then try it a different way and then rotate your hands slightly and feel it this way. And I want you to listen to your body and see which way feels better to you, all right? Or you may have shoulder injuries and this may feel much better on your shoulders where this may put more stress on your shoulders. 
All right, so everybody's gonna have, you know, different issues that they have to overcome. And so it's fine to change up your form slightly because, you know, you need to figure out how it's best gonna work for you, especially if you're working around injuries. So guess what, while I'm resting, I'm gonna come over here and drop the weight a little bit. All right, because this is too heavy for me to do with only 30 seconds rest. I was a little too optimistic. Okay. All right, third and last set here on the flies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, three sets of flies. Now we gotta go on to the third exercise. Put this down, I'm gonna get my bench out of the way. Cause we're gonna get all the way down the ground for this third exercise. And I'm gonna add a little bit of weight here. And so one thing guys, as I'm doing this, I wanna explain to you is that if you're doing an exercise and you've just, you know, you've just selected a weight that was just too heavy for you to do for 30 seconds and then only 30 seconds of rest, it is perfectly normal and reasonable to pick a different weight, you know, in between sets, all right? So you don't have to stick with that same weight for the entire three sets. I want you to ch change the weight and fix the problem, basically, all right? while you're resting in between sets. So this is gonna be a dumbbell bridge press, all right? So we've been focusing kind of on the upper part of our chest a little bit more so than the lower part. This is gonna, this is gonna put a lot of emphasis on the lower part of your chest. So you're just gonna bridge up, all right? You're gonna push your pelvis up in the air and we're just gonna do straight up and down presses. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, put them down. Let's rest for half a minute. All right, so another way to do this, guys is you can put a cushion under your back from your, from your couch. It'll give you a little bit more range of motion at the bottom. Now, one thing you guys might notice if you're watching closely is it looks like I'm touching the ground, all right, with my triceps and my elbows when I come down. I'm just barely brushing the ground with my tricep. I'm not actually resting at the bottom of the movement. So I'm just going as deep as I can without actually resting and deloading the chest muscles, okay? So time for set number two of the dumbbell bridge presses. Get that butt up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, whoo, <sighs> man, <laughs> doing those shoulders earlier in the day <laughs> was not smart. If I had known I was gonna be doing a chest workout later in the day. <laughs> so the front part of my delts here, this muscle right here, really burning, because I've already hit that. And this is a muscle that you use a lot when you're doing chest workouts, both with flies and with presses, guys. Whew, starting to burn. All right, but just one more set of this exercise and we gotta move on to the fourth exercise. Remember doing three sets of five different exercises. 
Here we go. Set three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, Whew. three sets of that, we're done. No more dumbbells needed for the rest of this workout. All right, give yourself a little break here, guys. All right, the fourth exercise today is the good old fashioned push-up. Now, a lot of guys are not gonna be able to do 30 seconds of push-up. 30 seconds is gonna kick my butt, even right now. So, if you can't do traditional push-ups, okay, you know, in the flat position, I want you guys to do them on your knees or do elevated push-ups. Put your hands on a couch or a chair or a coffee table. And if that's too hard, then do elevated on your knees. All right, so different ways to do it, but we're gonna do some push-ups now, guys. So remember, I'm gonna do about probably 12 push-ups because I think that's gonna be roughly 30 seconds. All right, you guys, you know, if you want to, it's probably more accurate just to follow your watch or your smartphone, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna be basically counting. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is tough all right so if it's hard for me then i think it's going to be really hard for most of you guys so let me give you another alternative here in 30 seconds when we do set number two so remember this is the fourth exercise but once again we're still doing three sets and then after the push-ups are over we got one more exercise to do for three sets Whew. all right so this is what i want you to do guys if doing 30 seconds of push-ups kicked your ass like it did mine, especially my shoulders. All right, so I'm gonna do on my knees, elevated push-ups, okay? So remember, we're doing 30 seconds, but I'm just kind of equating 12 reps to 30 seconds. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Is kicking my butt all right 30 more seconds and then i'll do my final set of push-ups now remember guys we got beginners intermediate guys advanced guys watching these videos so this is how i want you guys to change it up so beginners instead of doing 30 seconds on and 30 seconds rest try doing 20 seconds on and 40 seconds rest so i want the the total to always equal one minute all right and so that'll be a a big difference guys because even though you're only cutting down from 30 seconds to 20 seconds that doesn't sound like a lot well that's a third less time and then on the rest side you go from 30 to 40 seconds rest that's a third more rest time so it's a double whammy okay so that's a really easy way for beginners to do the same workout it's still gonna take 15 minutes you're still gonna do five different exercises you're still gonna do three sets but you're just not gonna spend as much time <laughs> doing the actual exercise and you'll spend a little bit more time resting all right here i go last set here push-ups one two three four five six seven eight nine 
16, 11, oh, 12, Woo! all right, one more exercise, but we still got to do three more sets. Now, I'm going to have a timeout here because my cameraman is going to have to stop filming. We're going to have to move these lights around real quick because I'm going to move over to a different location, even though it's a couple of steps away. And we're going to do banded flies. All right, so the fifth and final exercise today is banded flies. Now, one caveat real quick, all right, is you'll notice I got two anchor points, one here and one way over here. I have two sets of bands, all right? So you, you would have to have two sets to be able to do this. It makes this particular exercise more effective because the anchor points are way out here. And when I'm pulling my hands together, the resistance from the bands is pulling out this way. If I only had one anchor point directly behind me, when I get here, the, the resistance from the bands is pulling straight back or pulling this way. It's not trying to pull my hands apart. So it just, it doesn't work as good. So if you have two sets of bands, way, way better when it comes to flies, okay? And it makes this exercise very similar to those super expensive machines at the gym. They're called cable crossover machines and they got two towers and a lot of different uh, pulleys and everything. And I mean, they're probably, I don't know, $3,500, $4,000 for a single machine. And two sets of $25 bands, you can do basically the same thing. So remember, I'm gonna lean forward and I'm gonna oh, squeeze together and control two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12. Whew. All right, so the guys, that was about 30 seconds worth. I got another half minute to rest here. Basically, I'm feeling it. I'm really getting fatigued in my shoulders, like I said, because of that workout I did earlier today, just a couple hours ago for shoulders. <clears throat> I didn't plan ahead very well, but it's okay. I'll get, I'll get basically a double shoulder workout today. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do set number two. And for you beginners, remember guys, you're only doing 20 seconds of exercise and you're resting for 40 seconds, all right? So that should make it substantially easier. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, oh, woo. oh man, that is kicking my butt. So guys, 30 seconds rest and then I'll do the third and final set of the final exercise. So that'll be 15 total sets in 15 minutes, it's gonna be a great chest pump. And so, guys, you're gonna to have to remember, most of my workouts will give you 60 to 90 seconds worth of rest. And because of that, you'll be able to do heavier weights when you're resting longer, okay? It's just, it's just kind of common sense. Your body has longer to, to get rid of all that lactic acid and let the muscles <laughs> recover and get some more oxygen back in those fibers. But because we're doing it different today, you really are going to have to cut back the weight and the resistance on all these exercises. Because normally I'd be able to do a lot more weight with both the dumbbells and these bands. But because my rest times are so short, man, it's, it's kicking my butt. So last set. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12. Woo! Oh my gosh. All right. So, <laughs> hopefully here, let's see here. Can you see if I got a chest pump there? 15 minutes. I don't know how good you can see it on the camera here, but man, I can feel it. And I can also feel it up here in the front part of my delts. And guys, how long did that take really? I mean, realistically, you guys should have spent probably four or five minutes warming up. Remember, warming up your shoulders, doing a few warm-up light, super light, super easy warm-up sets to kind of get everything going. But after that, 15 minutes of the actual workout itself, and you've done five different exercises to hit all the different muscle fibers from tons of different angles, and your mind-muscle connection has had to change dramatically from one exercise to the next to the next, and that's what it's all about, guys. So if you stick with it and never give up on yourself, I promise <laughs> you can build a really good chest from home.